Credit, App, Chris S. Z. A. G. O. L. A. The Cleveland Cavaliers, led by LeBron James above, are starting from the middle of the pack in the East as they get set to open the NBA playoffs Sunday against the Indiana Pacers. Maybe this is the year. Maybe the Golden State Warriors, opening the postseason without Stephen Curry or any momentum, won't be the best of the West, where there's a Houston team that can run and gun as well as they do. Maybe the Cleveland Cavaliers, starting from the middle of the pack in the East, just have too big a hill to climb, even with LeBron James carrying them. Or perhaps none of that matters, and the NBA is headed toward round four of its reigning rivalry. The postseason opens Saturday and it's far from a guarantee it ends with the record fourth consecutive NBA Finals matchup between the Warriors and Cavaliers. Neither was the best team in its conference during the regular, the Cavaliers were only number four in the East, and it's not hard to envision a Houston to Toronto trip replacing what's become an annual Oakland, California, to Cleveland itinerary. Then again, the Warriors could be as dangerous as ever once Curry returns from a knee injury that could have him back for the second round. James has played in the last seven NBA Finals, so nobody knows how to get to the finish line better, no matter from where he starts. And the other top contenders have to overcome their history of disappointments. Houston's Mike D'Antoni and James Harden have never won, and Chris Paul HASNT even gotten out of the second round. The Raptors had their best regular ever, but they were last seen in the postseason getting stomped in four consecutive by James and the Cavs last year in the second round. Golden State faces number 7 San Antonio on Saturday in the postseason opener, followed by the top seeded Raptors and number 8 Washington Wizards in the East. Sixth seeded Miami and number 3 Philadelphia are then followed by Portland New Orleans in the other 3 to 6 matchup. On Sunday, it's number 7 Milwaukee at number 2 Boston, and the Cavs hosting the number 5 Indiana Pacers in the East, followed by number 5 Utah at number 4 Oklahoma City. The Rockets wrap up opening weekend against number 8 Minnesota, ending the NBA's longest playoff drought with its first playoff appearance since 2004. There will be a lot to keep an eye on in the first round. Curry's injury is the only one that remains, but the Warriors at one point down the stretch were also without Kevin Durant, Draymond Green and Klee Thompson, too. Even the champions couldn't overcome that, dropping six of their final ten games, but they start against a San Antonio team whose injury problems are every bit as bad We're assuming Kawhi Leonard doesn't return after missing almost the entire. Philadelphia is the hottest team in the postseason, winning its final 16 games to finish 52-30. But the 76ers are led by postseason newcomers in Joel Embiid and rookie Ben Simmons, and Embiid is still recovering from a broken orbital bone and concussion as the postseason begins, and will have to overcome their inexperience and a rugged Miami team. It was an up-and-down regular for Oklahoma City, which acquired Paul George and Carmelo Anthony to play with Russell Westbrook but finished well back of Houston and Golden State. But the Thunder might be one of those teams better built for the postseason, and they got an easier road when they won three consecutive. To grab home court advantage against a Utah team that would have had it before a ending loss at Portland. There's no more Kyrie Irving and there was only Gordon Hayward for a few minutes all, so the Celtics are being overlooked despite their number two seed in the East. But there's plenty of young Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and veteran Al Horford, Marcus Morris talent on a 55-game winner that features one of the league's best coaches in Brad Stevens. As good as Toronto is, it seems futile picking against James and the firepower around him to get to the NBA Finals. But the Cavaliers don't defend well enough and can be picked apart by top offenses, so go with the West champion to win the title, particularly if it's Golden State or Houston. Take it from another champion. I like Houston and Golden State, pending their health, as being my top two favorites, five-time winner Kobe Bryant said during a conference call to promote his new basketball analysis show detail that will run on ESPN during the postseason. Sports on April 13, 2018